The shepherd, the politico, the celebrity, the master. Reverend Cecil Williams was all of that, but so much more. He was the Bay Area icon for compassion, for forcing us to recognize the gross inequality in our communities, for healing the lost, the forgotten, the dispossessed. He forced us to do something. He welcomed all to his church with arms stretched out to embrace everyone. His smile kept the tenderloin warm during its most troubled times. It was a smile that launched a million hopes and built a tower of people power to connect us to God. Jesus blessed the poor and performed miracles to heal the suffering. Cecil wasn't possessed of that power that the Almighty had, but how many did he cure with his optimism or the medicines provided by Clyde? How many aching bellies did he fill with food and aching souls with his infectious hope? And when the AIDS epidemic spread through San Francisco, it was Cecil Williams who turned towards those who became ill and to their loved ones. His message was profound at one of the darkest hours. He said, brothers and sisters, I love you and God loves you. You have value. Your life matters. We will not forget you. You know, I read his obituary the other day in the New York Times, and I thought to myself, well, of course, Cecil is in the New York Times. He wasn't just a man of San Francisco. He was a man of the entire country. And if you think about it, his radical inclusiveness is so needed today. Here we have one guy working hard to rip apart America, and then there's Cecil working his entire life to love all of America. What a contrast. It's a contrast in how to live a life that deserves to be covered in this nation's newspaper of record. So now he is in God's kingdom. And of course, Janice is composing poetry to welcome him home. And now that he's gone, I offer you this observation and a question. As we all know, Lily Hitchcock Coit gave us Coit Tower and Joseph Strauss gave us the Golden Gate Bridge. But we also know that God Almighty gave San Francisco the Reverend Cecil Williams. And if a big earthquake hit, where would you rather be? In the tower, on the bridge, or standing next to the Reverend Cecil Williams? As always, choose the guy who's a rock. Goodbye, dear friend. I honestly pray to God that you'll shake it up a bit upstairs. Peace be with you.